Hello from Gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland. And this is an update on some of my orchids, this time mostly Cattleyas. As you can see, I've brought some of my Cattleyas outdoors after all. And the reason was that I sprayed a number of them against thrips with the chemical you saw in the last video. And while they were out here, I just thought, oh, I know, I'll put them in a, a kind of sheltered corner and um, just leave them out even just for a week or two. And possibly, you know, that'll do them some good. Besides, I'm a great believer in the old adage that, you know, putting plants outdoors is the best cure for many an ailment. And um, yeah, so while these plants are out here and easily accessible, I thought I'd just give you an update on these ones. The wooden shelving you see over there against the house is where I put my cymbidiums this year. And these have been out for several months. The wooden shelving is actually attached to the house with a couple of nails. But this corner really gets like, it doesn't get direct sun and it doesn't get any rain. So it's been a good place to keep them. And, um, you know, cymbidiums, when they're outdoors, they tend to suffer less from spider mites, etc. Now, I've repotted a couple of them. The big one in the middle is the yellow one you saw in flower recently, and it's now a grand size. And the other no ID that was in the broken pot, well, you know, I repotted that. <laughs> and down below are the Cilogenes. On the left is my old faithful. Um, pushing out lots of new growths and on the right is the division I got not that long ago and um, it's still in sphagnum moss I think I don't know I'll leave it in the sphagnum for this year and think about repotting then next year and below that is oh yes ye trusty slug killer <laughs> the blue pellets which you see dotted around the shelving and the table very important and this is the um, Cliff Hutchings, um, lovely um, Cymbidium, and the black one, Cali Knight's Geezerland, is here on the table. So, starting over on the left, we have the Angricum I got from Orchids and More last year. Was it last year? If I can find the link to the video, I'll put it up above. And this is um, Crestwood Tomorrow Star. It's a decent size and I got really excited recently when I saw something coming here. You see that? But I actually think it's just a root, which is very sad. I This plant had a bit of an accident earlier on in the year when it was in the plant room and the cat jumped in the window from outside and knocked this plant flying and it went down on the ground and completely unpotted and everything. And um, when I repotted it, it suffered a bit. The roots seemed to shrivel. It really didn't like that kind of abuse at all. But it seems to be, well, it seems to be perking up now. And directly in front of it, in the basket, is uh, Lelia anseps that I got last autumn from Orchids and More in Germany. And I eventually settled on potting it in this oddly shaped aquatic basket because it is a very oddly shaped plant and it has three new growths one two and yeah this this one here so it's doing well behind it is the brassia I got this spring from a friend of mine and it has two new growths so doing well here we have Lelo Cattleya Coastal Sunrise, which has recently been divided. And when I divided it, of course, I broke a new growth because, well, yeah, a mistake, obviously. But it does have another one there. And there's an eye around here, which I hope will, um, well, kick into growth now. So moving over to the right, Gulf Green Hairy Pig. Um, matured a growth a while ago now doing nothing but it looks healthy enough uh, an epidendrum and uh, this one has been sprayed it did have the three fits there and behind we have encyclia hanbury hanbury is it 
Yes, Hanbury, also from Orchids and More. I think this came with the uh, Angricum. And this is a decent plant, pushing up two new growths. So I look forward to a flowering this year. Behind it is the Cattleya with the mo flowers that flowered for me in spring that I've had for a good number of years. And it's called Sierra, Sierra Skies Leone. So I hope that will do well for me. Flanked by Cattleya purpurata, my big plant. Um, pushing up new growths. Three or four new growths. I'm not going to turn it around now to see. We have Epidendrum, this is the pink one, Radicans I think, and um, it had a mishap in the plant room. This long, tall flower spike was under the window and I opened the window and broke it. So that's why it hasn't been in flower yet this year, but there is a spike coming. Um, in front of that we have Encyclia cordigera which I got in flower last year and it's pushing up two new growths but it just seems a bit slow I don't know maybe I need to put it in a bigger pot maybe that's part of the problem and Dendrobium nobile, nobile hybrid uh, Comet King in flower again a smattering of flowers always welcome behind it we have the King of Taiwan and in front of that the No ID Orange Cattleya that flowered very well for me in spring which has pushed up a new growth and has two buds coming which is a surprise it's never flowered at this time of year before. A couple of little fellas I got from uh, from Schwerter um, Cordigera, this is Encyclia Cordigera Alba which has never flowered for me and this one here which is a small um, epidendrum cross I believe anyway called Gold Coast and it has lovely orange flowers when it does flower it's it's a miniature and here we have the um, the coconut orchid the maxillaria that Miss Orchid Girl sent me last year but it has no sign of flowering, but it seems to be doing well. And then just finally, we have Oncidium sotuanum, the pink one that, that has sprays of pink flowers. And I actually divided this plant this spring to give a division to my friend. And uh, yeah, so hopefully it's enjoying the nice air. Okay, well, that's all for the moment. I hope this update was useful and you enjoyed it and if so check back for lots more uh, orchidy and gardeny stuff I'm inventing adjectives now but so it goes and we'll just finish with a nice shot of these nobile flowers which are just lovely thanks very much for watching bye now